weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Oh, we've got ourselves a pretty good looking day today. If we could take the wind out of the equation, we'd have a really good looking day and some of those clouds out of the equation too. But we started off on a good note. Beautiful sunrise, gonna show you some pictures. Had a wonderful sunset last night as well. So we're doing, doing okay, we're living right now. Uh, but we've got some storms headed our way tomorrow. You can see the deck of clouds overhead in downtown Evansville. The camera is rocking in downtown Owensboro. That's a view from our roof claim camera on top of the Hampton Inn. And you can see Smothers Park kind of shaking in the view. As also, we take a look at the east side of Evansville, as we like to do, to check out the wind with the flag just off the Lloyd Expressway and also the traffic at 66 and 69. Looks like everything is A-OK. -okay. That's our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera there at Deaconess Gateway. As we look at the numbers at the airport, 59 degrees, warming up nicely. We started, though, around 50 degrees. So, yeah, we've warmed up. But yesterday, we were jumping up with that warm front. We started at 24 yesterday, topped out at 62. I still think we hit 63, despite the extra clouds in play. That wind from the south is going to help push it up. But I tell you what, that wind from the south and southwest is really pushing a lot of things. And issuing a Yorkie. Uh, wind advisory there. Small dogs might have problems out there if they lift their leg. Uh, Temperature-wise, 55 degrees in Vincennes, as cold as I see. We've got upper 50s in Jasper and Princeton, 58 and 59 respectively. 61 in Owensboro, 58 Henderson, 63 in Madisonville. Nice and mild out there. And look at these winds. These are sustained winds, not gusts. We're going to see gusts up around 40 miles an hour. Sustained at 31 in Morganfield, 27 in Tell City, 24 in Jasper, which means it's not just like a temporary quick gust. I mean, they're staying up there around 24, both Henderson and Owensboro. So, yeah, some pretty big winds out there, and that's the reason why we have that wind advisory. Beautiful sunrise this morning. That's like pastel burst right there of orange and yellow. And Alex Bimel got that shot from Derby. Here's a cool thing, too. He's looking out, you know, the way the river winds. He's actually looking more east uh, than south across the river. And this is Kentucky, the hills of Kentucky there as he uh, checks out that view. Love it. Oh, I love this too. Silo and a sunrise. That is from Dale in northern Spencer County, of course. Jim Collins got that great shot looking through the trees. The bare trees right there, but you can see more of that colorful sky because they don't have the leaves out there. It's one of the few things that are good about winter. Live first warning Doppler not showing a thing, and our storm tracker is showing plenty of cloud cover, but really nothing falling from the clouds, although we might see a stray shower or two out there during the day today. Best chance will be west of the Wabash. For the most part, we're not seeing rain until late tonight, and for a lot of us, not until after midnight. So really early, technically early tomorrow morning. Got a few breaks in the clouds out there this afternoon, but few and far between uh, compared to the cloud cover. And we are noticing more rain start to work its way in from the west. And before midnight, it looks like in southeast Illinois. But for most of us, again, after midnight, we start to see that rain. But once it starts, it is going to be coming down and good for a little while. You can see that heavy rain, especially up to the north. Uh, we're going to be seeing plenty of heavy rain down to the south, too. Here we are first thing in the morning, plenty of rain. And then by midday, you can see we've got some showers and thunderstorms firing up. And it looks like that line is going to push through early afternoon, noon to about 3 o'clock. And that's when we have our severe weather threat. I think future trackers a little fast and changing it over from rain to our wintry mix. But it is going to get a lot colder by the end of the afternoon. And we might even see a little bit of freezing drizzle before we actually see a few flakes of snow out there as the system winds down. I don't think it's going to be a lot of wintry precipitation, but it's going to be a lot of liquid precipitation because we are going to be noticing uh, that rainfall one to two inches worth. And our future tracker continues to crank out better than three inches for some places north of the Ohio. But it's going to be a pretty big rain, no doubt about that. And we've got the severe risk too. Slight risk. Now they've pared it down a little bit. That's good news. It was basically for the entire tri-state. Now the northwest corner is in that marginal risk. Got a slight risk, though, for most of the tri-state. And as far as the severe threats out there, uh, the tornado risk has bumped up a little bit across western Kentucky, a level two, that's a 5% chance, and a damaging wind threat uh, that is also there at 15%, a level two risk there. Here's my forecast for today, calling for a high of 63 degrees, and we're getting close to that right now, but more clouds and sunshine really from here on out. And we've got a lot of wind to deal with, south wind, at 15 to 30 miles an hour, gusts up around 40 miles an hour. And on the seven day forecast, temperatures are going to be uh, in the 60s again tomorrow. That's a little misleading because we're going to be there late morning to around midday, and then the temperature's really going to take the tumble in the afternoon as that strong cold front moves in. And we've got that isolated, well, not an isolated, got a slight risk for severe weather. And it's going to be colder though on Friday with sunshine 38. And then we warm up nicely, Stacey, with plenty of sunshine both days over the weekend. We'll be up close to 60 again by Sunday. We bounce back quickly. Very quickly. That's yes. a good thing about late February it and is. early March, you know. 
know, yes. hit cold shots, but then can bounce back <laughs> real fast. This, this is pretty. This was this morning. Mm. Uh, we had a beautiful sunset last night, and we had almost an equally beautiful sunrise this yeah. morning in downtown Evans. I love That's that a good shot. One. So I changed. Yeah, um, you ready? I don't have workout clothes with me today. I wasn't quite sure that we were doing yoga, but I at least got out of my dress because we have some yoga to do when we come back. I noticed you're you about three inches shorter. <laughs> I am, yes, I'm shrunk too. All right, everybody, um, we'll be right back after this. Stay with me.